Welcome back. I am so excited for this video. As you know, I have challenged myself to read a book a month for this entire year, and I have officially finished my eighth book. So this is book number eight. It was for August, and it's called Shepherding a Child's Heart. And I've never given it a star rating, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give this one a star rating. I would say out of five stars, I'll give it three. Now, here's the reason why. I love the way that this author goes about talking about how to raise a child. I love that it has lots of biblical insight. In fact, if you look at the end, it gives you an index of scriptures. So where in the book it used scripture? And I'm telling you, he references tons of scripture, which is so important if you are looking at biblically raising your children. And he has a lot of great tips and tidbits. But I will also say that he is very polarized in his views of how to raise a child. Throughout this book, he talks about how the goal as a parent is to bring your kids towards God. That's, that's our goal, is to give them a Godward perspective, to help them to see Christ, um, not just through like discipline and things like that, but actually to guide them towards Christ. And I get that. But like I said, he's very polarized. So for instance, he has a section that he calls unbiblical goals. And one of his unbiblical goals is developing special skills. And he goes on to basically explain that there's no reason to put kids in a sport or activity unless it brings them towards God. And pretty much discounts and polarizes that opinion of, I shouldn't put Eliana in soccer because her soccer coach might not be bringing her towards Christ, and so it's a waste of an activity. And I think it is important that we need to point our kids towards Christ, but I don't think that we need to be so polarized and say she can't play soccer because soccer doesn't have a focus on Christ in every single moment. It asks a question to the parents. Will involvement in these activities have biblical content? If the answer is no, then your kid shouldn't do it, is what he's saying. So if it teaches sportsmanship and loyalty, all right, that's fine. But he pretty much is saying that unless every single activity that they're doing drives them to Christ, they shouldn't do it. And so that's where I'm saying he's very polarized and very, I want to say, extreme in his perspective. At the same time, there are tons of little nuggets and tidbits in here that I absolutely, absolutely love. He talks about a biblical vision for parenting, for the task of parenting, having a biblical vision, that it's multifaceted. Um, it involves being a kind authority, shepherding your children to understand themselves in God's world and keeping the gospel in clear view so your children can internalize the good news and someday live in mutuality with you as people under God. So yes, it has, like I said, it just has great ideas and great things. Um, one of the things he addresses is what if my kids never become believers? Or how do you discipline a child and talk to them about their disobedience to God if they don't believe? So he, he covers a lot of those really tough topics. And I love the insight that he gives because it is biblically based. But again, I think you just have to take what he says and what he explains with a grain of salt because it's very polarized. Um, is it against the Bible? No, but it's definitely a very polarized perspective on parenting, if that makes sense. He also talks about what the Bible has to say about the parents. So that God gives us the confidence to carry out our job as parents, that God mandates us as parents to be responsible in the parenting that we, we do. Um, I love this, this part that he mentioned, the fact that you are called by God to be an authority in training of your child, not only gives you the right, but also the responsibility to train. So I will say I got a lot out of this book. And I would definitely recommend it. Just know that you're going to get a very polarized perspective of parenting. And that's okay. But it was something that I had to be conscientious that I don't take this as the Bible. 
um, because it's not. It gives a lot of great biblical perspective, but ultimately God is the one that we're following, not Ted Tripp. Um, but it did provide a lot of things for me to think about as I'm looking to raise my daughter. It has mostly, most of the book covers like zero to five years, but then it also has a chapter on kind of the middle age, five to 12, and then a couple of chapters on teenage parenting. The one thing that I say it kind of lacked was like ideas or practical application ideas. It talked about family worship but it never gave like in-depth ideas of how to do that at the different ages. It gave a few like general ideas, but not, it's not a plan book. It doesn't give you a step-by-step -step plan and that's okay. But that is one thing that it did not have. So I guess, I don't really know. It's hard to explain. Um, like I said, it was definitely very polarized and especially polarized in the discipline area. So just know that going into it, that he is very opinionated and very set on his opinion, and it's very skewed to one direction. Again, not that it's anti-biblical, not that it is, there's anything wrong necessarily with the advice that he's giving. It just might not be the same as your opinion, and that's okay. So anyway, Shepherding a Child's Heart. He does have another book that I believe I actually already own, and I'm going to read it as well. And we actually bought this book in Spanish because it provided so many things for me to think through and kind of mull over as we're looking at raising our daughter that I wanted my husband to be able to read it as well. And just to be able to talk through some of the things, um, the things that I was like, I don't know how I feel about this. I actually highlighted in pink. So when my husband reads, we can talk about some things that I was like, mm, I'm not sure what I think about this. And then the things that I just loved, like little tidbits, I highlighted in green just so that as he's reading as well, we can talk about those. So 